folks. Uh, so, all uh, right. Huh? Door. Oh, kind of right over this way. Yeah. Okay. Well, we just managed to get the last piece of this old cell tech stuff. If you don't know what that is, it's just basically pressed uh, wood shavings or sawdust. That's all it is. And this whole garage was filled with it. It's just a matchbox. <laughs> Fire waiting to happen. This thing hasn't been touched for a very long time. Um, as a matter of fact, there we found some pretty interesting I'll take. Thank you. Yep. You can see this up here. This old single hot wire line that used to run the house and this garage. You can see the old insulators stuff. This this wire has been up there. Oh geez. My guess is since these are the 1920s, maybe 1930s in that neighborhood. Kind of interesting. Um, and then we found some, I found some older conduits that were just behind everything else. These weren't even exposed. Um, <laughs> these old conduits. And these I believe are from the uh, early 50s or mid 60s. <laughs> yeah, a lot of history in this old garage. And the only thing that was built with real any, any real consistency was the uh, ceiling joists. Um, uh, there, at least they're semi evenly spaced. The walls are going to be crazy trying to. Uh, figure out but <laughs> all right well I got all most of the junk out of here took it down pretty much nothing inside now we got to get it all cleaned up I just thought I'd show you one of the difficulties that I'm having with this um, 100 year old garage. The foundation has cracked and moved away, following the wall. So I'm out on the bottom by about three inches. So I'm going to have to shim all the way down. And I've just about got this wall leveled out. And we can start uh, sheetrocking the ceiling. But I've got a lot of cleanup and stuff to do. Uh, thought I'd just let, let you all see what's happening. We'll see you.